What is going on, everyone? You're back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on storylines. Now, we just completed the Jeter storyline today. I was that second part came out yesterday, which was pretty exciting. So the mode really went in depth on his career, which was really cool to see. Even though I already knew most about his career, it was still cool to get his like actual perspective on it, which was pretty cool, and to kind of see like you know his reaction on everything, and just looking back at his whole career. But overall, I think people were strongly like disappointed about this, just because. I think a lot of people liked it. They liked the whole storyline thing. They liked, you know, watching the, you know, the players react on his career. But like in the actual game itself, it seemed like underwhelming. Like a lot of the plays you could do with the Jeter, like you had the flip one, you had the one where he dove into the crowd. There was like another one that just like, you know, the home run one, for example, you had to go get that one. It just didn't seem like the characters were like really like, like, I don't know, were like there. Like the one where he dove in the crowd, it, it was just like the, the, he went right through the he went right through the people in the crowd which is really weird the home run one the kid didn't even grab it they didn't animate that at all like it was, was kind of weird like some of those moments and i don't know maybe they got to do a better job on that next year or if they do this again with another player like i said and another factor that people really did not like about uh at least the jeter storyline was just the cards in general were just really bad i mean if you look at the yankees collection all the worst cards are literally the Derek jeter cards except for the 90 overall obviously which in that 90 over call is not even that good at, at, at all to be honest you need like like five players from the subway series to even get the bonus which isn't really that worth it I wasn't really a big fan of that whole card and that in general because he's not even a good shortstop just by himself like bobby wood jr is already better than him and you can literally get him for pretty much free if you just play the game so there's not really a point to really go for that card if you just wanted the cards either so that was another disappointing part the cards just weren't good it was kind of just to play if you like jeter i know a lot of people that don't even like him as a player to be honest so that, that was definitely one side of the story but overall the actual narration and everything was pretty good i just think next year you know i'd like to see the cards a little bit better i think it was fine because it came out with launch you know the cards were pretty fine at launch but now that we're a little bit deeper into season one and everything like that i do understand their core cards though so maybe that's why but we are in may at this point and you know i don't think people really care about golds to be honest or low diamonds which is what most of these cards are so i don't think a lot of people cared for it but overall though the jeter storyline for me personally i liked it a lot i'd probably give it like a solid seven eight out of ten i liked it a lot definitely a lot to improve on i think throughout that mode and make it a lot better but the narration was really cool so even if they did this for another player i think that'd be totally cool to see like a ken griffey jr maybe or maybe like a david ortiz because those guys have worked with san diego Stews in the past before or i haven't even thought previous cover athletes you know you can even get like a guy like maybe like joe mauer obviously would be pretty interesting like any guys that just kind of had historic careers that have worked with you know sds in the past i think would be pretty cool now moving over to the other one in storylines obviously the negro leagues now when i'm currently recording this we have seven out of the ten currently out right now but yeah it's been a while since we have the new negro leagues the last one was like six weeks ago or something like that so it's been a while since we've seen the other three come out don't really have a timeline on when those are coming out they said it'd be two weeks two weeks and it's been like three weeks and now it's like a six week period if i'm doing all the math on that right it's been kind of interesting to see when those come out but besides for the timing kind of sucking on that the overall mode has been absolutely incredible to watch the stories have been really good i really like that in 23 it was more focused on the league it actually self and some of the great players that we saw and obviously some of those guys went to the league like satchel page and jackie robinson but now in this new one we're seeing guys that played a little bit later in the new York leagues and then played in the mlb so which was that was pretty cool to see overall and even some guys that had the chances to play in the mlb you know obviously reproached by some owners and stuff like that so it was pretty cool to see that different version of it like it seemed like we went from the original to kind of the next level of it which i thought was really cool so definitely solid overall on that front i really like the way they did that and obviously the first four were incredible the next three were great i'm curious to see who the next three are going to be after that but every single story they tell i've absolutely loved to be honest i really like the narration from bob kendrick he does an absolutely phenomenal job on narration and his voice is just great too i mean the guy is very he's, he's easy to listen to it's definitely cool to learn about this stuff because we weren't alive back then right so it is cool to look at this and i think for me and i know a lot of other people it's definitely inspired them to go to kansas city and actually check out the museum i definitely want to do that one day it sounds like it's been really cool it sounds a lot different from the baseball hall of fame which is obviously in new york so i don't know it'd definitely be a cool trip to go and do one day but yeah I, I think the new york leagues has just been a phenomenal job it's been great for the game it's been great for the sport in general and i've absolutely loved it so i would I'd definitely give it a 10 out of 10 i mean it's, it's literally been fun to do the moments have all been incredible it's just a lot of fun to do and it's it's, it's, it's just a learning experience like i said and it's great to have that educational part in the actual game because even like myself like i think i know the game pretty well but after going into some of these storylines, I feel like I don't know the game at all, to be honest. Like, you just learn so much, which is really cool. And it's cool, like, a video game like this could just bring that out of you as well. Overall, storylines has been a lot of fun to play. I really recommend you guys check it out. It's just, if you really want to learn about, you know, the Near Leagues or Derek Jeter, definitely hop in there and play. Or if you don't even want to play, you can just hop in there and just look at the cutscenes and stuff. Because those honestly make the mode, and they, they it just looks like a ton of fun, in my opinion. I absolutely love storylines this year. Whatever three they come out in the Near Leagues, I know I'm going to love it anyways. It doesn't matter who it's going to be. So I'm just very excited what they have stored for next 
next year because I think they did a phenomenal job with it. Like I said, the only my only problems with it was kind of the rollout system was weird because they didn't really give an exact timeline. You know, they said two weeks, it was three weeks. This one, another two weeks, it's like six or five weeks at this point. And the Derek Jeter one just said coming soon. So I think the one thing I'd like them to fix is just when are they're coming out, in my opinion, or give like a date or something because that would help everyone. And like I said, with the Jeter one, I just like it to be more like realistic because it just feels like they're there and like the fans don't really interact with them like that. But that's my thoughts on storylines. What do you guys think about storylines? Did you guys like the mode? Did you just hate the mode? Let me know if you played or you haven't played it because it's been a lot of fun to play. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you just like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.